That's no old. Egg put laid by something that wasn't a chicken. Hey, yeah. Martin Gotten <laughs> said that to me. Martin Gotten is not even our best friend. He's not even in top 15 anymore. Hey. Isn't he not? He's my top one. We're up here Chick talking cocks. to me parents and we're talking about cocks. And Mammy's after saying that years ago, what was it you said? Nobody wanted cocks. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> no, she says nobody wanted cocks. Daddy, what did they do to the cocks when they were born years ago? Kill them and eat. Boil them. Boil cocks. No, That's one, no one eats cock now. No one eats cock now. You couldn't get anyone to take cock now. No, no one to take a cock now. Hey, I see. Hello. Hello. Bye, chefs. Hello. Enjoy yourselves. We're just back after having our lunch up with our mammy and daddy's. And I tell you, how people talk shite. I think they had it hard. I don't know what hard is. I don't know what hard is. Look at Greg there. He's wearing a jacket and it's it weighs the same as me. Me and Gary tried to wear it and we couldn't even walk with it. You are fit to carry it, that's all. That's all. I wear it. You do wear it and you wear it. Get rid of that tree. Yeah. Let it be gone. Yeah, Greg, get rid of that tree. You why, don't need it. Why, why are you using it? What? I didn't what? leave. No, it. someone did. And I'm just disappointed if you also did. I'm not going to leave it. Oh. oh, yeah. Boss man, Tiff. You know what Garrett said to Mammy today? He said, Mammy, do you know what the difference is between a house and a home? House is where we live, home is where we're going to put you. <laughs> it's a bit lousy. Lousy. Yeah. We're going to do something? Yeah, let's do this. Putting them back on. One track on, now to pawn the other one. it would be no problem when I have this genius with me. It really is bad weather. There's a freezing cold rain and there's a breeze and it cuts you in two. But there's nothing worse than lads whinging and crying. Oh, it's cold and it's wet and oh, I wish I was inside. You just get on with it. No, we're all in the same boat. You just have to get things done. Yeah, things might be dirty and your hands might get cold. But you just push through. You don't see me fucking whinging, do you? You just have to, you just have to put your fucking shoulder to the wheel and just get it done. Do your worst. So I just filled with these and I said, you know, before I go back at it, I'll get a quick lunch. And Vicky was off yesterday and she said, David, do you want some lunch for tomorrow? I said, Vicky, I will. I will. And you know what? Peg in an extra couple of sandwiches because I'm planning on doing a 17, 18 hour day tomorrow. And you know what? I'm doing it for you because I love you. You and the kids are all that matter to me. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that I'm giving up my life. I don't. I work hard because I love you so much. So you can imagine my excitement when I opened up my fucking lunch to this! Look at it! It's like bread and gooey easy things fucking ham. <coughs> yeah, I don't have to eat it, but I'm gonna eat it anyway because I'm fucking starving. But yeah, thank Vicky. So I've been, I've been getting a good few messages in the last couple of days from people in the US and in New Zealand and I don't know why it's those two regions but they can't load up any of my stories or I've been took off their subscription list I I don't know what's happening uh, me and Mark are trying to find out but getting in contact with a human person in Snapchat is, is almost impossible I updated the app last Saturday and since I updated it I haven't been able to save my stories to my memories I haven't been able to use filters it's not loading up stuff for me it's just it's a right bollocks. But we're trying to get it sorted, and when I do, I do. I don't, I don't know what else to say about that. I'm trying my best. I know fuck all about it. I might as well be looking up a cow's hole. <laughs>